Next question. Frank wants to know, who do you think will do better over the next few years at their new locations? Lincoln Riley or Mario Cristobal, Ooh. a.k.a. Mario Cristobal. Both are top recruiters and proven winners. They're both moving from small towns with strong football programs to big-time beach cities with a lot to offer five-star kids in addition to football. Both enter weak conferences, joining historically great football brands. Falling recently, and Dan adds parenthetically, the last 15 to 17 years <laughs> <laughs> on, on hard times. Yeah. Um, who is better set up for, and who do you expect to... If we return to this question in 2027, 2028, somewhere along there, who has more, whatever measure of your success, uh, 10 win seasons, conference crowns, playoff appearances? I'm inclined to say Lincoln Riley and USC. Okay. Um, I am focused primarily right now on the recruiting beat. Okay. And these are two areas of the country that have a fertile crescent of sorts when it comes to crescent. yeah, high school prospects. Yep. Yeah. There's a, okay. there's a lot more competition in South Florida though. A lot more competition. Yeah. Then, I mean, Southern California is a well-known recruiting hotbed. Clearly there is competition for those guys from all across the country, right? Clemson's recruiting South Carolina or Clemson's recruiting Southern California. Now Alabama, right? right? Of course. It's not like it exists in a vacuum. But I feel like USC now being kind of the splashy program led by the younger guy, Lincoln Riley, I feel like it's going to be, I feel like it's going to go a long way towards keeping some of those kids home. So I think they've got a built in recruiting advantage there. I think Lincoln Riley with it, with only because he's bringing his own guys over from Oklahoma is going to be able to get that thing out of the gate to a hot start. And I think he's going to be able to use that to propel the program forward. As Frank said, both sides of this equation are pretty weak from a conference standpoint. Like you've obviously got Clemson to deal with in the ACC. Um, you know, there are other teams that have gotten better in the ACC as well. So maybe a little bit more resistance there, but I feel pretty good about Lincoln Riley out West. I think my answer is Mario Cristobal. Uh, and I think Miami is more serious about pouring resources into the program. When you look at how much money they spent on their staff, when you look at what Mario Cristobal was able to do in bringing up Oregon's resources and commitment to football, and building out that program, what Lincoln Riley has done in terms of staff hires, I doesn't leave me all that excited. I Are think we Lincoln comparing Riley staffs here? Staffs. Well, no, yeah. we're, we're, de we're, de we are comparing paths and we're <laughs> comparing I mean look it's it's the the division and conference in which these teams play it's the ability to find and develop a quarterback into a huge success and the ability to build up consistent uh talent and depth on the roster i have no doubt that lincoln riley is going to continuously find quarterbacks i have no doubt that lincoln riley is going to elevate usc's regional and national recruiting my question is, can the region produce enough lineman depth for USC to provide uh, confidence in me saying, yeah, they'll win 10 plus games every year when USC is just hasn't been that place. Miami hasn't either, but their pathway within that division is pretty clear. Depending on what you believe in, in terms of North Carolina right now and Brent Pry and Virginia Tech. I just the the ceiling just seems so much higher for Miami. But again, this is a Miami team. How many ACC crowns are we talking about? I believe that'd be zero. Big old zero. Goose yeah. So you are taking a chance with you taking more of a risk with with Miami. Mario Cristobal has taken uh, precisely zero teams to the college football playoff. Right. That is that is factually correct, Dan. And yeah. also, I'd add as a counterpoint. We've heard this song and dance on the Miami front before. Of course. We joked about it when they hired Crystal Ball. It seems like a race to get the most Miami guy possible mm -hmm. to coach the program. So having him there, look, I, I do believe he's a cut above what they've had before. He, he's yeah. a known recruiter. He's a good coach. Mm -hmm. He's a good coach. I think he will get them going in the right direction. I truly, honestly believe that. But in terms of who can get a program up and running quicker, I think the answer there is Lincoln Riley. 
And I think if you do it, I think if you bring Caleb Williams over, if he continues to have the success that we believe he'll have, right. that's just going to feed back into the allure of the program. Yeah, that, That's going to jumpstart that recruiting operation and take it to a level that it hasn't been at in quite some time. And he should have two years of Caleb Williams, whereas yeah. Tyler Van Dyke might only be in Miami for another one year. So I am I am banking on the ACC providing for less resistance than the Pac-12 at this point, just because Utah exists, just because the, the talent ceiling of Oregon is pretty impressive. Otherwise, I don't know, there's not much in the Pac-12. And same could be said, you know, Clemson's not necessarily heading in the right direction. I, I think just Miami right now, I think they can build a, a deeper defense. And to me, that is just, I, I think what they what Miami's roster can look like is more impressive than what USC's roster can look like. Fair so enough. Fair enough. Mario and, and, and Miami in the, in the next five years or so. Uh, next question. 